Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing 35% tint on the windshield of the Silverado. I've done 35% tint on my Silverado, my old Silverado, before the Ram, I had a 2019 Silverado that I tinted the windshield on myself in a 35% tint, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. A lot of you guys commented on that video saying that you've done like 20% on your windshields, even 5%, 5% limo on your windshields. I gotta imagine that must have felt really nice having that level of privacy inside of your car or your truck and that must have looked absolutely amazing as well. That to me is a pretty bold move. I'd probably never do even a 20%. 35% is the darkest I personally would ever go. I wouldn't recommend doing a 35% tint unless you have a pretty decent set of headlights and very strong vision but either way, it does strain your eyes a little bit at night. So for the general population, I wouldn't recommend going any darker than a 50 or maybe a 70% tint if you're looking for the performance only. Then 70% ceramic film is gonna be just fine for you. You can do a 5% limo dyed film or a 50% ceramic film and you will actually get more performance out of that ceramic film than you will the dyed film. So it's not all about the shade. The shade has more to do with privacy and looks. Type of film that you use, such as a dyed film, a carbon film, or a ceramic film, the ceramic film is how you get the most performance. So I always do ceramic film all the way around. I'm very fair skinned, I have very light eyes, which means I have less pigment, and melanin, which means I am more susceptible to burning when I am anywhere near the sun. I go limo on the sides because I like the privacy, I like the looks, and you have the option of rolling the windows down, but when it comes to the windshield, you're kind of committed. You can't roll your windshield down, unlike how you can roll it down your side windows and see where you're going if you ever needed to in a pinch. I have 50% on my 370Z's windshield, and I think it's absolutely amazing. So we have 15% on the sides and the rear pieces of glass, which I think is a really nice look on a car like this. In my opinion, on sports cars and like luxury cars, I don't like going full limo. I think a little bit of transparency looks good on cars like this. And we have 50% on the windshield, which isn't that dark, as you guys can see right there. It's pretty transparent. Definitely a noticeable difference if you're next to another car that does not have windshield tint. Definitely noticeable there's tint on the windshield, but it's really not that dark whatsoever. And I think this is a really nice blend next to the 15%, which is one step lighter than the limo. So this is a 15% transparency and a limo would be a five. So it's one shade lighter than the limo. And then this is 50% transparency, which I think looks really nice together. So I am playing with the idea of selling my 370Z sometime in the near future. I just don't know what I would replace it with quite yet. Now I don't need another truck right now because I already have the two trucks. I have the Ram and the Silverado. Nice having something that's quick and more efficient, also more maneuverable around the city. I don't always need to drive a truck around town, but the 370Z is a very, very impractical car to own. I can't even take this car to the grocery store and get more than two bags of groceries. Like, if I go to Costco, I can't even take this car. It's a really fun car to like go from A to B in, but I can't pick anything up with it, which kind of sucks but it is a really fun car to drive. I've tuned it, I've done a bunch of performance mods to it, I've wrapped it, put wheels and tires on it, it has an exhaust, but it's just super impractical. So, if you guys have any ideas on what I should replace this car with, preferably something with four doors, let me know in the comments below. So this is what it's like driving with 50% tint on the windshield and 15% on the front two roll-ups and of course the rear. Not that noticeable when the sun is out. It's barely, barely even there. Here it is compared to having no tint and having 50%. There's not that much of a difference. Here comes a Mopar trying to race me, I'm sure, because that happens every time I drive this car. Some Mopar wants to race, and I don't partake in that, sir. 50%, 15%, no tint compared to 50. There is not much of a difference whatsoever. Now, nighttime, obviously, is a different story, but there's still, it's, I still sometimes forget it's even there. When I first got it put on, I do remember there being this moment of like, wow, this is absolutely amazing and it's a huge difference. But now that I'm used to it, I sometimes forget it's even there. But I don't have to wear sunglasses, so that's nice. Now I will start by saying I am by no means a professional window tinter at all. I will do my own cars once in a while, but if I want a really good job done, I will leave that to the pros. I did the 50% tint on the rim. I didn't want to do it myself because I plan on having it on there for a while, 
but then my windshield cracked and then I had to replace the windshield and now there's no more tint. So there's that. Side note, some of you guys have been asking where the Ram has been. It hasn't been parked here for the last like little while because the parking situation here is still messed up. I live in a community with HOA. I have a two car garage with three vehicles. I have to park one outside, but there's still an issue with getting the permits approved for me to park outside of my garage. And it's a whole, it's a whole mess. So I am doing my windshield myself because I don't plan to have a 35% tint on my windshield indefinitely. I probably will go back to a 50% because that's kind of my happy place as far as shades go on the windshield. This 35% is really just kind of like for fun and just to show you guys the experience of what it's like to have 35% tint on your windshield. That being said, 35% tint is going down today on the Silverado. Probably won't be on there for a super long time. I'll probably have it on there for a little while and then go back to the 50% and then maybe when summer hits, go back to a 35, but we'll see. <laughs> A nice little H pattern here. And split all the wrinkles up right down the middle and push them all out from top to bottom. And making sure the side here is flattened out. We pushed all the wrinkles this way and we can start heat shrinking it all up and down. off to all the professional full-time window tinters. This is not an easy thing at all, but I think we're good to move on to the next step. We cut it right there above the dot matrix, and then we can start peeling it or rolling it, and then peeling it, installing it inside the windshield. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. I'm so frustrated. It like it was going great. Now there's a, now there's a wrinkle in the film, and it's all I can see. So everything was going great. Pushed all the water out, and you know, everything was going smooth. And I think I hit a dry spot right here, and that right there is a wrinkle. I like three of them in one area. It just like while I was pushing the water out. The tint got caught and it just and it wrinkled it. Don't worry about all of this. All that can be pushed out, heated up, and laid down. But this right there is there to stay. Like that's not gonna come out, and it is very noticeable. Good morning, welcome back to another day in Amazon Paradise. In package number one, we have a cabin air filter for the Silverado. Nothing too exciting, but Definitely an important part of the maintenance. Black disposable face masks. Uh, that's pretty exciting stuff nowadays. Ooh, dang my guy, we're looking fresher than Febreze right now with this thing on here. Wow. I never thought I'd be excited to wear a face mask. And we have some T-tap connectors as well as some butt connectors as well. So now anytime we do an electrical install, we are good to go. Applicator pads for the good old wax on, wax off. Good to have these laying around. And let's see what's in package number three. It's like every day is Christmas over here, I love it. It's like a gift from me to me. Some CMX, I absolutely love this stuff. For any of your waxing needs, this right here is the stuff to get. CMX is the wave. It's perfect for waxing your paint, for your wraps, your wheels, your plastics, anything you need ceramic sprayed, this right here, is your answer. This is the truth. Drop it in the link below. Get you some. It's, it's, it's the answer, trust me. Just like that, another mod for the Silverado just showed up. It is Christmas every day over here, I'm telling you guys. Not going on today, but it is going on sometime in the very near future. We do have a tint appointment to get to, like right now, so. And just like that, welcome to Signature Tint. Jay outdid himself on that one. 
Got him a new Silverado. So I couldn't do a ton of filming there because they were playing a bunch of copyright music and whatnot, but here we are, 35% tint, straight into the darkness. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, I remember being a lot worse than this when I had it on my last Silverado. This ain't bad at all. Obviously it's a big difference compared to not having tint whatsoever, but I'm gonna pull down this road right here that's relatively, actually has like basically no lights, so we'll check that out. So this road has literally no lights. Here, I'll pull up, stop. Turn the lights out. This is a completely, that's actually kind of creepy. So with that being said, and I know it's probably not gonna look as great on camera, but I can see the entire street and every little thing that I need to see around me. Honestly, it's not bad. It's a little darker for sure, but I, I have no problems at all seeing everything. Like everything is, is still crystal clear to me. We'll compare the 35% with having no tail. Okay, that, that looks like a huge difference on camera. Okay, yeah, you know what? That, that's actually pretty, that's a, that's a pretty big difference. I'm not gonna lie. Driving down any street that has any type of lighting makes it absolutely no issue at all. There's no problem seeing anything on this street because there is some street lighting. So a street like this with the 35 compared to no tint at all, obviously there is still a difference, but it is not a problem at all as like it is driving down dark roads which obviously are gonna be more of a nuisance than driving down something like this that has a pretty decent amount of street lighting. But in the daytime, this is when 35 on the windshield just truly shines. I just got in the truck like two minutes ago. This is still setting in. This is crazy dark. In the daytime, that's, there's no issue seeing through it at all. I have no, no problems whatsoever. But it's kind of a trip. It feels like it's a really dark day outside. Almost like there's some type of like overcast. It's actually a beautiful day. I mean, check it out. Like bright blue skies, slight marine layer, but nothing crazy. But inside the truck, it feels like it's like it's dark out. It's weird. As I drive through this parking lot, I kind of just came to the realization that it's gonna be really hard to communicate with pedestrians and other drivers. Say if someone were walking from there to there and I was slowing down, they can't see me saying go ahead. So there's no acknowledgement that the driver can see the pedestrian from the pedestrian standpoint. So from a selfish standpoint, this is really nice in the daytime, but there could be that to consider in situations that are gonna happen pretty frequently, obviously, when you're driving through parking lots or you know someone's just crossing the street at a crosswalk. You're gonna have a hard time communicating with, uh, with everyone else on the road, even at stop signs, when you pull up to a stop sign, someone there doesn't know if you are saying go. So you're gonna have to roll your windows down and give them the hand motion. Aside from that stuff, I mean, this is sick. I love this. So the entire truck's five limo. Now we have the 35 and the windshield, and this combination is amazing. I mean, it is like, it's it's nighttime in here. It's crazy, and it's so, so bright outside. Like, it's crazy. Like, you forget the sun's out. So here it is, 35 in the windshield, and nothing right there. That's, that's just straight open window. And there's the 35. You have to consider the fact that when you roll the windows down on the sides here and it's a bright sunny day outside, your eyes are gonna kind of adjust to what's going on on the sides here. So I'm getting a lot of light pouring in the side which does adjust my eyes to that and make it a little different to see out of the front windshield. It doesn't change it by much but there is that to consider when driving with the windows down and having a darker tint on the windshield here. It does, it does make it a bit different. Still totally, totally transparent for me, but you can see the difference right there. I'm sure the camera will adjust to it too. It wants to adjust to the sunlight outside, so do my eyes. So if I look left and then back to my windshield, my eyes just adjusted to the sun, and now they're readjusting to the 35 on the windshield. So there is that as well. But if we're talking about just rolling with the windows up at all times, this is sick. The rear view mirror is like the most visible. The steering wheel is a little less visible because it's a little further back. And I can't see the seats, which means you probably can't see my face, which is kind of, that's kind of tight. That is kind of cool. Wow. Like I mentioned before too, so with the windshield being super blacked out, that guy is getting it. Bro, 
Inspiration. It darkens up the side windows too. So now you basically can't see anything at all. Like before, when I just had the side windows done, which is a 5% all the way around, you were able to see a bit inside because all the sunlight coming through the windshield made it very, very, uh, I wouldn't say very transparent, but not that dark. Here's my honest opinion on the 35% tint on the windshield, and especially if you have 5% on the sides. I think anything beyond 50% is unnecessary. At that point, you're only going for looks from the outside looking in. You want privacy, you want a fully blacked out look on the windshield, because at 50%, you're getting the use out of it that you need from the inside looking out. It's like wearing a pair of sunglasses. Also gives you a bit of privacy as well, not like 35% of course, but 50% to me is enough, especially combined with something dark on the sides and the rear, like a 15 or a five limo. 50% to me is perfect. Anything past that point, you're only going for the next level of privacy from the outside looking in. But yeah, 35 on the windshield, it looks legit. And that is all I have for you guys today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.